In this video, we shall discuss what is single entry system and how to calculate profit or loss and to know the financial position of the business by using net worth method. Okay. The generally accepted way of uh, bookkeeping is double entry system of bookkeeping. Under double entry system, to know the profit or loss of the business or to know the financial position of the business, we normally prepare a final accounts that is trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet. This will show the profit or loss earned by the business and the position of the business. But usually small business organizations, they adopt this single entry system of bookkeeping. Under this single entry system of bookkeeping, only cash transactions and personal transactions are recorded. So under this case, when the business is trying to calculate its profit or to know the financial position of the business, they cannot prepare p and account or balance sheet because complete information is not available. So they follow this net worth method. There are two methods to calculate the profit and position under single entry system. One is net worth method and the other is conversion method. In this video, we shall see how to calculate profit or loss and position of the business by using this net worth method. Okay. By following this net worth method, the company will be first preparing a statement of affairs. This is similar to a balance sheet, but we don't call this as a balance sheet because these balances are not taken from ledger accounts. The company is not maintaining proper accounts and we are not uh, taking this information from ledger accounts. So this is not called as balance sheet, but it is similar to a balance sheet. This is called a statement of affairs as on the date as on the date on which we are preparing we prepare the statement of affairs on the opening date and the closing date in the beginning of the year and the end of the year so in the asset side as usual we we will be recording all assets of the business see land and building plant these are all few examples that i have given you land and building plant and machinery furniture and fittings stock debtors bills receivable cash likewise what all assets of the business are given that we will record it in the asset side in the liability side we will record all liabilities bills payable creditors long term loans etc whatever is given in the question we will record it in the liability side and we will tally the balance sheet normally balance sheet will get tallied but under statement of affairs method we will get a balancing figure this balancing figure is called as capital if the statement of affairs is prepared at the beginning of the year, this is the opening capital. If you are preparing the statement of affairs at the end of the year, then this will be the closing capital. So we will prepare a statement of affairs at the beginning of the year and the end of the year and we will calculate the opening capital and closing capital. After calculating that, we will prepare a statement of profit or loss. So this is the format for preparing statement of profit or loss loss we will start our answer with opening sorry we will start the answer with closing capital or capital at the end with that you should add drawings if you add drawings the answer that you get we will get one answer with that you have to deduct additional capital and you have to deduct the opening capital or capital at the beginning the final answer that you get is profit so I will explain the statement of profit once again. With the closing capital, we have to add drawings and deduct additional capital and capital at the beginning. The resultant answer will be either profit or loss. If your answer is positive, it is profit. If your answer is negative, then it is a loss to the business. So I hope you understood the format. Now moving on to the problems. This is the first question that I have taken. From the following information prepare the statement of profit or loss. Capital at the end of the year 5 lakhs. Capital at the beginning of the year 7 lakh 50 thousand. Drawings made during the year 3 lakh 75 thousand. Additional capital introduced 50 thousand. So with this information we have to prepare a statement of profit. We don't have to prepare statement of affairs in this problem because both the opening capital and closing capital is given. So directly preparing the statement of profit. So this is the table that I have explained you. We have to start with closing capital. Look at the closing capital. Closing capital is nothing but capital at the end. It is 5 lakh rupees. So I am writing it in the amount column 5 lakhs. With this you have to add drawings. The drawings is 3 lakh 75 thousand. 
So from this 5 lakhs, if you add this 3 lakh 75 thousand, the answer that you get is 8 lakh 75 thousand. With drawings, what should we do? We should deduct additional capital. See, the additional capital is 50,000. So if you deduct this 50,000, the answer that you get is 8 lakh 25 thousand. After deducting additional capital, you have to deduct the opening capital. Opening capital is nothing but capital at the beginning of the year. It is 7,50,000. If you deduct the opening capital, the resultant answer will be 75,000 since the answer is positive. See, from 8,25,000, if you deduct 7,50,000, the answer you get will be positive. So, this is your profit. If your answer is negative here, this will be your loss. So, in this case, it is a profit. So, the profit is 75,000. This is the next question that I have taken. From the following information, calculate capital at the beginning. So, we have to calculate the opening capital. Capital at the end is 4 lakhs. Drawings made during the year is 60,000. Fresh capital. Now, this is nothing but additional capital. Introduced during the year is 1 lakh. Profit for the current year is 80,000. So here again, even though we are going to calculate opening capital, we don't have to prepare a statement of affairs because profit is given in the question. As we have profit, closing capital, drawings and fresh capital, we can directly prepare a statement of profit or loss because see, we have profit. All the information is given except opening capital. So we will get opening capital as the resultant answer. So let's see how to calculate this. So as usual in the format, the closing capital, the amount of closing capital is 4 lakhs. I am writing it in the amount column. With this we have, with this we have to add drawings. Look into the question, the drawings is 60,000. So I am adding drawings. So it will give you 4 lakh 60,000. After adding drawings, we have to deduct additional capital. The additional capital is 1 lakh. If you deduct 1 lakh from 4 lakh 60,000, you will get 3 lakh 60,000. So, with this answer, normally we will deduct opening capital to get profit. But in this question, opening capital is missing. So, if you deduct the value of profit that is given in the question, you will get opening capital. The opening capital is 2 lakh 80,000. Okay, so one, one more question that I have taken is, uh, Mr. Arnav does not keep proper records of his business. He provided the following information. You are required to prepare a statement showing profit or loss for the year. Capital at the beginning of the year. Opening capital is given. Bills receivable, cash in hand, furniture, stock and trade, building, further capital, creditors, drawings made during the period. So, these information are given. See, look into the question. Capital at the beginning, that is opening capital is given. And additional capital is given. Drawings is given. So, opening capital, additional capital, drawings. We need closing capital. Capital at the end to prepare a statement of profit. So, so here we are preparing a statement of affairs. Statement of affairs at the end of the period to calculate opening sorry to calculate the closing capital so as i told you the statement of affairs will have liabilities and assets so i have rec i have written there and first we shall record assets see bills receivable this bills receivable this is an asset so i am recording it to the asset side bills receivable the amount is 60000 then cash in hand this is also an asset so i am recording it in the asset side cash 80,000. Then furniture is given. Furniture is also an asset. Nine lakhs. Building is given. Building is also an asset. So we're writing it in the asset side. It is 10 lakhs. Then creditors. Creditors is a liability. So I am recording it in the liability side. Creditors. It is 6 lakhs. 
stock and trade is given stock is an asset so i am writing it in the asset side stock it is 2 lakhs so we have recorded all the items further capital is additional capital this will go to statement of profit drawings will also go to statement of profit so i am trying to find the total now the total of the asset side is 22 lakh 40000 I have written it on the both side and the balancing figure that I get is 16,40,000. This is nothing but capital within bracket B dot F. So in this question closing capital is not given. So we are preparing a statement of affairs. We are recording all the assets in the asset side and we are recording the liabilities in the liability side. Finally, tally your statement of affairs. The difference that is the balancing figure is nothing but capital at the end of the year. Now, after calculating capital at the end of the year, we are calculating statement of profit. So, the closing capital that we got from our calculation is 16,40,000. With this, we have to add drawings. Look into the question. The drawing is 80,000. So, add drawings. drawings the answer that you get is 17 lakh 20 thousand with this we have to deduct additional capital it is nothing but further capital it is 3 lakh 20 thousand if you deduct the additional capital the answer that you get is 14 lakhs with this we have to add opening capital that is capital at the beginning it is 15 lakhs If you deduct it, see here 14 lakhs minus 15 lakhs, you will get a negative answer. Negative answer means it is a loss to the business. So, 1 lakh is nothing but loss. If your answer is positive, you are getting a profit. If your answer is negative, you are getting a loss. So, here 14 lakhs minus 15 lakhs will give you minus 1 lakh, which means there is a loss of 1 lakh rupees. So, I hope you understand, understood this problem. The next problem that I have taken is from the following information we have to calculate statement of profit. Look at the information cash, bills receivable, data, stock, investment, furniture, credit us. This is given for two dates. It is given on two dates. It is on April 1, 2016 on March 31st, 2017. So this will be when you calculate this information as on April 1, 2016, you will get the opening capital. And if you calculate the information as on March 31st, 2017, this is at the end of the year, you will get the closing capital that is capital at the end. The other information that is given is he withdrew 600 per month for personal expense. He introduced further capital of rupees 5000. So with this information, we have to calculate whether there is profit or loss. So, since opening capital and closing capital is not given in the question, we are preparing a statement of affairs as on the opening date and closing date. See, 1-4-2016 and 31-3-2017. This will give you opening capital that is capital at the beginning and this will give you closing capital that is capital at the end. Okay, let us record the transaction. Cash is an asset. So, I am recording it in the asset side. Cash on 1-4-2016 the amount of cash is 250 and on 31 3 it is 300 then bills receivable it is also an asset it is 2750 and 2200 then debtors 21000 and 18000 Then we have stock which is also an asset. So I am recording it in the asset side. It is 7500 and 12,000. Then we have investment. It is 1750 and 1575. Then we have furniture which is also an asset.
फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड वी हैव क्रेडिटर्स क्रेडिटर्स इज अ लाइबिलिटी सो आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग इट इन द क्रेडिट साइड क्रेडिटर्स एटीन थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड finding the total of for both the periods that is on the opening date and on the closing date the total is 48250 and 59075 i am writing it on both the sides the balancing figure is 30250 and 36075 so this is capital as on the opening date and as on the closing date this is the capital which is the balancing figure as on the opening date and closing date now preparing a statement of profit see the closing capital is what we have calculated 36075 is the closing capital 36000 Seventy-five drawings. See, it is given in the question. It is six hundred per month. So, how to calculate six hundred for one month? How much for twelve months? Multiplied by twelve, we will get seven thousand two hundred. If you add drawings, the answer that you get is forty-three thousand two seventy-five. Forty three thousand two seventy five. With this, we have to deduct additional capital. It is given as five thousand rupees. So we have to deduct five thousand. If you deduct it, the answer that you get is thirty eight thousand two seventy five. With this, we have to deduct opening capital. Take it from the calculation that we have made. The opening capital is thirty thousand two fifty. If you deduct it. the resultant answer is positive so we are getting a profit of 8025 the resultant answer 38275 minus 30250 we are getting a profit of 8025 so this is how we have to calculate uh, the statement of affairs for uh, for finding out opening capital or closing capital and after that we have to prepare a statement of profit these are simple problems which i have worked out in this video I have uh, done another video where I have explained some more some more problems which have adjustments, some difficult problems. So do watch that video also. The link I have given it in the description box. Thank you for watching.